Hello, Jeff Bridgman here, dealer in antique American flags, uh, patriotic and political textiles, and an American folk art, specializing in paint decorated objects. I am here today to drum up a little business, uh, uh, no pun intended, and to just have a little fun and share something with you uh, uh, from my inventory uh, that's, that I think is just wonderful. This is an American Civil War drum. It was made by John Haynes and Company in Boston, who had a shop on Court Street. Uh, it is uh, red in color, as you can see, and uh, with just tremendous surface. And on the front is an eagle, uh, and a spread wing American eagle, standing on a horizontal shield uh, this is a wartime image of the uh, eagle, and the, around it are 32 stars in gold, along with space for two additional stars um, underneath where the wings would be. That gives a total of 34, which is opening two years of the Civil War, 34 stars, 1861 to 63. One of the most interesting things here, I think, in the imagery is if you look closely underneath the shield, you will see a cannon barrel. Why? Well, American infantry drums were supposed to be blue and artillery was red. So um, a great illustration of artillery drum with a red, uh, red shell. And one of the very best things about this is that the red goes all the way around. That is not the usual manner. Sometimes just the rims are red. Um, and usually there's just a register on the front. That is an area where it's red and the rest of the drum is, uh, is the natural finish. And paint decorated collectors, uh, uh, they want to see this sort of surface. This is just about, I don't know how well you can see this in the image, but this is just a, probably getting dark. This is just about the same, the best surface that one could ever imagine. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a solid 10. And uh, the eagle is in tremendous shape, no in painting. Um, the heads are original on the top and the bottom. As you can see on the bottom, this has a tear, absolutely expected, doesn't really have uh, anything to do with the value of the drum. Sure, it'd be great to have a, uh, a head that wasn't punctured, but um, in the scheme of things, what's important is the date, the color, the surface, the image. It has a, it has a maker's label. and. You know, one good thing unexpected about this, um, uh, about the hole in the bottom is that the maker's label can actually be seen inside. What you would usually do um, is look through the vent hole to see the label. But this way I was able to actually photograph the label really well, um, but typically you'd peep through the vent hole and that's where you see a maker's label on a drum. So the rims on this are original. Ropes and ears are replaced. Very, very common, uh, very typical. And the other thing is this drum has been cut down in height. The shell was taller previously. Very, very common, present in most drums. After the war, the drums were cut down for other use uh, in parades and by children and etc. And almost every drum has that. There are exceptions, um, but that is not something to stop me from buying a great drum because it was so common in Civil War drums. So there you have it. Wonderful American infantry drum by <laughs> artillery drum by John Haynes, Boston, Civil War, tremendous color and surface. And you can see it on the website at www.jeffbridgman.com. Thanks and enjoy.